Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing you all of the customs I've done recently, which means the ones I've completed after I posted this video. Alright, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get started. First of all, we have Pimiento. He's a repaint on the Schleich Icelandic foe, and he was completed in December of 2018. This little guy was a Christmas present for my friend, and I'm actually really happy with him. I think he's really cute. I think I did impressively well on the pastels with him, even though I hadn't really used them much at the time. Not that much more to say about him, but I hope he's living a happy life at my friend's place. Secondly, I have Mickey. She was originally the Schleich Hanoverian mare, and I completed her in February of 2019. I customized her neck and muzzle, and obviously repainted her to be a bay. She's also one of the rare customs to have a process video, so if you want to watch that, you can click the I in the top right corner right now. She got her name because she looks a lot like Banksy's foster mother, whose name is Mickey, and I think that was cute and it gave her some backstory. I'm gonna be honest, she's not my favorite repaint, her neck is super long compared to the rest of her body, the materials I used for her weren't ideal, and the pastel layer is quite grainy, but she is an older repaint, so I guess I can't expect too much of my past self. Next up is Ashira. She is a repaint on the Collecta Missouri Foxtrotter, and she was completed in February of 2019. This horse is a big achievement for me as she is the first and only horse I've done hair by hair roaning on. Her base is a bay color, then I went in with a white watercolor pencil and painted on the individual white hairs. She's honestly such a pretty horse and I feel like I don't use her enough. She was a big challenge and such a big experiment, but I'm happy with the overall result and I hope I can revisit the idea of hair by hair roaning and repaint another horse like her. Then we have Mariposa. She's a repaint on the Collecta British Spotted Mare, which is one of my favorite models, and she was completed in April of 2019. She's certainly one of my favorite horses in my collection. She's super versatile, super cute, and she's a great tack model. Her repainting process was a little bit of a struggle, uh, I took two goes to get her color correct, but I'm super happy I did it twice, and I couldn't be happier with her color to be honest. Also, I'm really happy with the name I picked for her, I think it's really fitting. Now we've made our way to Banksy. Banksy is a repaint on the Schleich Trekhanner foe, and he was completed in April of 2019. He's obviously a portrait of Shelby Dennis' full Banksy, which by the way, I'm the biggest fan of him, like I'm probably his biggest fan. <laughs> Banksy also has a process video, so if you want to watch that, I will put it in the eye in the top right corner and also down in the description box. If you watched that video, you'd know that painting him was a little bit of a struggle. At the time, I thought he turned out too orange. But now, looking back at pictures of Banksy when he was younger, I think it's actually pretty fitting with this color. Next up, we have everyone's favorite, Blood Boy. He's a custom on the Collecta Appaloosa Gelding, and he was completed in November of 2019. He has a modified jaw and ear. He also obviously has a tongue and a new tail. Blep Boy is one of my favorites, and it seems like he is one of you guys' favorites too. He's quite a versatile and tack-friendly horse, and that's probably what made me like him so much. Painting him was a big frustration and struggle. I started by painting him a buckskin, but it did not work out, so I had a huge art block, but eventually I got to repaint him again, and I settled on this liver chestnut, which I'm so happy with. His tail is probably the only thing I don't like about him. I think I honestly did a pretty bad job with it. It looks quite clumpy and not that great. 
but overall I like him and I'm also a fan of his silly name. Next up is my first stablemate custom. This little guy was a stablemate, I'm not sure what breed, but he was completed in January of 2020. Back in December I got a blank stablemate from a good friend of mine, then a month later I painted him to be a palomino. I actually really really enjoyed the process of repainting this guy. It was really fun and I was able to use almost only pastels except for his mane and tail. I liked repainting him so much that I bought myself a set of blank stable mates not too long ago. They're really easy and fun to paint on and they're also great for more experimental coats. If you guys want to see a video where I repaint a stable mate, let me know down in the comments. Anyways, I really do enjoy his coat. I think I could have done a bit better on his mane and tail, but overall I'm a fan and I think he's cute. Next is Marmalade. She is a custom on the British Spotted Mare again, and she was completed in March of 2020. This custom was so complicated and it took way longer than I expected. I started on her in early February, hoping that she could be my Namu Paimu horse, but things went south. <laughs> I made a mistake on her pastel layer and I suddenly lost all motivation to continue on her. But then about one month later I got more inspiration to work on her and I finished her not that long after. The fact that she has real hair was a big challenge for me but I'm really happy that I made it look okay. Although, if I could go back and fix some things on her, I definitely would have made her coat lighter and also just fixed a bit on her mane because it doesn't look that great, but it was all a learning experience. Marmalade has a process video, which by the way, I'm very proud of. It took so long to process that video, but if you want to watch that, again, it will be in the top right corner and also in the description box below. Next up, we have Fifi. She's a custom on the Collecta Camergu Mare, and she was finished in May of 2020. Also, please excuse her wearing a bridle. It's an absolute pain to take off, so I'm just leaving it on. Fifi is a portrait of a horse I ride in real life. This girl is my absolute favorite to ride, and I wanted to make a horse that looks like her for a long time. I think I kind of captured her looks, but there are some things that might be a bit off. She should be a little bit darker maybe. But overall this repaint was not too hard to do. I only modified her mane a little bit to be more tack friendly, and then the repaint went pretty smoothly. Because she is a white horse, or technically a grey horse, dust sadly settled on her back, which I tried my best to prevent, but it still did. Overall, I'm very happy with this horse, and she's also very photogenic, which I'm very happy about. And this last custom is a bit of a sneak peek of a project I'm working on. She was originally the Schleich Connemara mare, and I am customizing her to be a trotting hunter pony. I am documenting the process of making her, so when she's done, there will be a video about her on my channel. And that was all of the customs I have done recently. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I also want to thank you guys for the massive activity on my channel. So many new subscribers and viewers. I really can't thank you enough. Also, if we ever do reach 20,000 subscribers, um, I'm not saying anything for certain, but there probably will be some kind of giveaway. So yeah, subscribe down below. <laughs> And one last thing, if you want to be kind of a part of the process of making these customs, you can head over to my Instagram. I post a lot on my stories there, and I often ask you guys for opinions on the different horses I'm making. So yeah. Okay, that was it. Uh, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!